Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and I'm here in the Appalachian Forest at about 2,700 feet above sea level uh, on my land in Floyd County, Virginia, in southwest Virginia. I do this morning walk about a two-mile loop with my dogs every day, and it's really cool because this is how I discover a lot of my episodes. It's based on whatever nature has revealed to me today. And it seems like every day I find or see something new that I haven't seen. Today's episode is going to be about an orange coral fungus I've found. And it's not too far uh, down the path from here. And I want to show you this incredible fungus and talk about coral fungi in general. So stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. Coral fungi get their name because obviously they look just like corals in the sea or ocean. And sometimes on these close-ups, without the leaves in the background, you'd be hard-pressed to tell if this was in a terrestrial environment or an aquatic environment. There's many different species of coral fungi and come in many different colors, from orange to yellow to purple and everything in between. And originally, all of these were put in a genus called Claveria. But now we realize that through genetic testing and DNA analysis, they're not as closely related as we thought, and they're now placed in a lot of different genera, but still collectively called the coral fungi. There may be some species that are edible, but there is also some species that are poisonous. This particular one, this orange one, that's called the orange spindle coral, is not particularly poisonous, but does or may have a laxative effect. And again, remember, I'm not a mushroom forager. I don't want to use you to use my channel to forage mushrooms and find edible fungi. My channel is about discovery and finding cool things in nature and sharing with them with you. If you want to collect uh, fungi to eat, I always say go with an expert in the field. It's not enough to see photographs of it. Sometimes it requires spore prints, a detailed analysis, and also knowledge of the mushrooms in your area. And a local mycologist, a local fungus mushroom forager will be able to identify those for you safely. I believe the scientific name of this particular coral fungus, which I think is the orange spindle coral, is Clavulinopus orangiocinibarina. Very cool, but long name. The word clava comes from Latin and means club. So these are the club-like fungi. As you look at this fungus and other mushrooms that we see above the ground, remember that the, what you see above the ground is not really the fungus itself. It's not the body of the fungus. It is merely the fruiting structure that will produce the spores. On this particular fungus, these clubs arise from underground network of mycelia, which are hair-like hypha. Some of them are almost microscopic as well. This purpose of this structure is to lift up into the air spores that will be picked up and blown in the wind. This fungus has particularly tiny spores, and to see them, you would have to microscopically look at the surface of these clubs, these orange fingers that are extending up from the soil, because it's these orange fingers that on the surface contain the microscopic spores for the next generation that will be picked up and blown by the wind. I just had to share this with you this morning. I thought it was just a fascinating find. And none of these colors here are adjusted. I did not enhance these. These are the real live colors of this fungus of my camera on its standard setting. I didn't adjust this at all. This is real. Well, you can't make this up. Honestly, this is not staged. So here I stop to photograph my coral fungus and look who's right here next to me. 
It's the red F stage of the newt. And this is one of my favorite of all animals is the red F stage of the newt. And here he is right by this coral fungi. I swear I did not stage this. He was honestly right here next to the fungus. So check out my newt videos. Um, I've got several of them and I just never get tired of seeing them. So you know, of course, that I'm gonna encourage everyone to take a walk in your yard or in a park or in your neighborhood and look and see what nature reveals to you. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode on the orange spindle coral. And remember, if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel and give me a like. And remember, I cover all things nature, from frogs, toads, snakes, turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. So thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.